of all, many people may not have seen snow in their area. There was not, that was definitely not the case for the folks in Bartow County. Not at all. Good days. Paul Milliken joins us live from the Fox 5 Storm Chaser in Cartersville, and he's back inside of mm -hmm. that Storm Chaser. What do you have Chaser, the heat set I on? See. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Surprisingly, we're not at a Starbucks yet either. That's <laughs> next on the list. For now, though, we just wanted to give you a better look at uh, what's going on on the roadways here. And you can see out the window back here, it looks like a winter wonderland. It certainly does with our front camera as well. That's a really pretty shot. Look at that sky, too. It's nice to see the sunlight coming out. That's a whole other issue, though. This will sound kind of funny, but I'll tell you from uh, doing a lot of storm chasing before, once that sun comes out and there's so much ice and snow up this way, it's going to be tough to see. You got to wear your sunglasses today. You'll get that glare for sure. This is Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard that we're on right now. We're heading back to uh, US 41. And look at this road. This is all ice in front of us. I don't know if you can see much of a glint or a glare on the road on the camera shot, but I can see it in person. This is just a solid sheet of ice. And this is much of Cartersville this morning. And the interesting thing is this. We got here about 2 o'clock this morning, and it didn't look like this at 2 o'clock this morning. The roads were wet, but they weren't icy like this. But temperatures have continued to drop through the morning. And of course, we have that really raw wind chill out there and everything's freezing. So please take it easy this morning when you're out and about on the roadways. And of course, the encouragement from officials continues to be if you don't have to be on the roadways, just don't do it. Wait it out for a while. Certainly give the DOT uh, crews time to get out here and do some more plowing. We're turning on to US 41 right now. Those of you who know Cartersville know this stretch. There's a lot of businesses here. And look at the road. It's just covered. You can't even see the lines on the road or any asphalt here. This is all snow and ice right now. We're about to come up on the Main Street Plaza with a Target and a Publix here on the left. And it is just dead quiet, which is good news. So it looks like folks are sleeping in this morning, trying to stay in. And that's probably the way to go this morning. We came up I-75 this morning. And I haven't checked on the highway here for a little while. But I'll tell you, earlier this morning, the highway was in pretty good shape. They put the brine down and that seems to have worked, although again, it may have gotten a little bit worse this morning with the possibility of some refreezing. But so far, the roadways have been passable. But again, you look at what's going on right here and it's just a lot of snow and ice out there. So please be uh, very safe when you're out on the roadways this morning. We will continue to monitor the situation here from the Fox 5 Storm Chaser. And as I said earlier this morning, let me know what you're seeing this morning. Head to a uh, Paul Milliken Fox Fox 5 on Facebook, send me some photos or post what you're seeing and we can bring the Fox 5 Storm Chaser to you, especially if you have coffee going or you're cooking <laughs> eggs or anything like that. We'll be there in a flash. Oh, For now in Cartersville, I'm Paul Milliken. Back to you. We appreciate him checking the conditions at restaurants and coffee shops oh, yeah. all over we North Georgia. Thanks that. a lot what for that, What it's like Paul. in McDonald's, yeah. Paul. Thank you. <laughs> Several downed trees were reported overnight throughout Metro Atlanta, including this one in DeKalb County. Check that out. A tree fell on top of a car on North Druid Hills Road in Levis to road, but still no word yet on if anyone was hurt. Make sure you download the Fox 5 Storm Team weather app to stay updated. You'll get watches and warnings as soon as they're issued. You'll also get the latest forecasts, live radar, and weather alerts any time of day. You can download it for free from the Apple App Store or from Google Play. We'll also have a list of all of today's closure scrolling at the bottom of your screen right and, now. Yeah, and we want to uh, see your winter weather photos as well. Take a picture and post them to our Facebook page, or you can tweet them to us. Any video you post, be sure that you hold your phone horizontally. It makes for better TV. It does. And be sure to use the hashtag Fox 5 Snow. All right, our winter weather advisory continues in Forsyth County, where snow is still falling in that area. And good day's Randy Travis joins us live from coming. Randy, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, folks here in Forsyth County seem to have been heeding our warnings all morning about being careful and not getting out unless you absolutely have to. Heeding our warnings and the warnings from the Forsyth County Sheriff's Department. The sign has been flashing all night letting people know be careful if they have to get outside and as you as i walk up by my photographer chris rosenthal here you can see very few people out in fact some of the only people we've seen out this morning have been these uh, utility trucks uh, from a company called pike electric they're one of the bigger utility companies or utility repair companies in the country they pre-positioned some people here and coming just in case they were going to have some power outages to deal with luckily they have not been needed this morning in fact when we caught up with them they were just trying to find some place to have breakfast here's what one of their supervisors told me 
We have a, a normal contingency of about 127 that work here full time, and uh, we brought in. So we got a total of 180 men right now ready to work. Trucks, uh, tractors, bucket trucks, line trucks, everything. But right now you're sort of like the Maytag repairman, aren't you? Uh, well, we're all dressed up, and nowhere to go right now. So we're ready. We're ready if you know the lights go off. Back live now here, you can see uh, that's Georgia 400 below me. Very few, if any, cars. Looks like a scene from The Walking Dead, if The Walking Dead was filmed in the winter here in Georgia. But over here on my left, you can see some of the cars coming along Highway 20, again, over the, the 400 bridge there. And they are doing exactly uh, what we asked them to do. I love this. They're driving very slowly. Uh, creeping along here. There's some ice on the road, but not a lot in this particular area. It's been sanded down and scraped very heavily by, uh, by the work crews all morning. But they're doing what you need to do if you do get outside today. Drive very slowly and heed the warnings from authorities. Reporting live from Forsyth County, Randy Travis, Fox 5 News for Good Day Atlanta. All right, Randy, thank you.